Hello guys and welcome back to Car Focus. Just a quick video today, an update video um, following on from my last video that I did about the oil leak this car developed and also a quick list of mods because I've had a few questions from people um, requesting a list of modifications that I've done to this car. Anyway, the oil leak. So as you all know, the car went um, into Mountain for a service. They discovered an oil leak around the front cover. Um, I think it covers the crankshaft or it's around the area on the engine. So they advised me to get it booked in. So I got it booked in um, with my local dealer, CC Harrison. They had the car in for an inspection. They said, yes, it has got an oil leak. We've cleaned it up. We want you to take it out for a few weeks and bring it back just so we can be sure. So I did that, took the car back in and yes, the car did have an oil leak around this front cover area. Now, basically what the issue was, when this car went in for the recall, Ford basically didn't seal this cover on properly. Rather than a gasket, this cover requires sealant around the edge in order to seal it up. And basically, they didn't seal it properly. So it was no fault of the car, it was actually um, the dealer on this occasion. And I believe this, this has happened um, on quite a few occasions with different cars. Um, anyway, so the car went back in, they've taken this cover off, they've resealed it, and touch wood all should be good um, the only bit that concerned me a little bit was you can see the sealant um, when they've actually sealed it up it's red sealant they've used which is Loctite sealant I believe and because they've used sort of maybe a little bit too much it's kind of squidged out when they've put the um, components back together I'll show you in a minute under the engine bay but I, I did question this I sent an email back to them to get confirmation this is okay um, they've said you can use the red sealant it's absolutely fine and it's natural that when they um, retighten the components, you, you can get a bit of a uh, a bit of sealant kind of seeping out there. And I've also spoke to um, somebody else who's spoken to another um, specialist, and they've also confirmed that it should be absolutely fine. So fingers crossed, no more problems with this car. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's have a quick look under the engine bay, and I'll show you what I was talking about. So here we are. Here's the engine bay. Now I'm not going to take this cover off because I can't be bothered, but if you take the cover off you can see it more easily. But if you just look in here, I'll zoom in for you very slowly, you can see that red in there. Now that is the sealant. Now they've obviously tightened these bolts back up, they've removed this cover here, resealed it and put it back on. When they've tightened these bolts, the excess sealant has kind of seeped out there. Now it doesn't look very glamorous and that's why I queried it. That's why I took pictures, sent an email and got confirmation. And they have said that it's absolutely fine and that is normal. So, if anything else does occur with that, I've covered myself. But I'm not too worried, um, I think that it's going to be okay. Anyway, so, as I said at the start of the video, we're going to go through some mods. So, since we've got the, uh, the bonnet up, we'll discuss the engine. So, flip the camera around again. So, as you can see, gel inlays. I've got some gel inlays. They were one of the first things I did with the car. Literally, buy them off um, off DMB online and stick it in there. And it just, it just gives the airbox a little bit more, a uh, little bit more of a jazziness to it there. So that was the first thing I did. Then I got the K&N filter, which you can see in there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It's a K&N filter in there, a cone filter. And I also purchased the Mountune um, boost hose and that fitted to the stock crossover pipe. So I had the air filter and the boost hose and the stock crossover pipe. Then I thought, why not just go for the whole induction kit? So a bit of a later date, I ordered the, the Mountune crossover pipe here and you get this extra hose here uh, with some clips. So this is basically the full um, Mountune induction kit that comes with the FPM 375 kit. There is also now a pipe which goes down to the turbo, this one here, which you can get um, just to complete the full setup, but I haven't bothered with that um, at the moment. So yeah, that's under the engine. I've got under the bonnet, sorry, I've got these. I've also got the sound suppression chamber, which goes in there somewhere. Um, basically with these cars, once you fit an induction kit, you can get a bit of a howling noise, um, and this sound suppression chamber cures that. So I, I fitted the induction kit and I had this howling noise, so I thought I need to get rid of that, so I got the sound suppression chamber. I also got the turbo recirc valve, because the turbo recirc valve on these cars is a plastic little valve with a, a cheap little spring. So I got the Mountune turbo recirc valve, and they fitted that 
when the car went in for its service. So that's basically all the, all the hardware that comes with the 375 kit. But as you know, I'm running the Dream Science uh, Ultima 2 Plus map with this car, which basically wakes this car up a hell of a lot more and turns it into a bit of a beast. Very happy with the map. With the handset, you get, uh, you get a range of maps as well. You get the Ultima, um, Ultima 2, Ultima 2 Plus, and I've gone for the 2 Plus. So that is it power-wise. Now, just moving around the car, I've also got the Dream Science handling pack. Now, you can see the, how the car's sitting here. It's sitting a bit more, well, a bit lower than standard. So it's on 20 mil KW springs. And if you can see the stance of the car as well, it's also spaced out on 12.5 mil spacers. So it just gives the car a nice kind of aggressive stance on the road. And it needed it because when it was stock, it was just too high for my liking. And now she sits perfectly. So yeah, I had that fitted at Dream Science headquarters. I've done a video on it, you can go and check it out. I've also fitted these Rally Armour mud flaps, which you can see here and here. Don't know if you can see the blue logo there. I've just got the blue logo just to go with the brake calipers uh, and gel inlays, which I fitted up here as well. So yeah, I think visually now, the car looks awesome. I mean, you can get the uh, front splitters, triple R composite front splitters, but I, I just think as it stands, this car is already pretty low. And I think with a splitter, it would be too low. I also removed the blanking plate. You can still see a little bit of adhesive left over. I need to polish that up. But yeah, you all know about the transit van blanking plate that was fitted um, to these cars in the factory. I decided to remove that because it's technically obstructing 25% of the intercooler and it was fitted um, for extreme climates where moisture could get into the system but I'm pretty sure that in this country we're perfectly safe and at the end of the day when you buy an upgraded intercooler from Mountune etc it doesn't have a cover on it so I've decided to remove that hopefully make it a little bit more efficient you never know give us a few more ponies but uh, yeah that is pretty much it for visual and performance there is one more thing that i have fitted to the car and you probably saw the video but it's in the boot and it's the dsc sport controller so it turns the suspension basically from a passive setup to an adaptive setup um, i've done a video on that as well so check my videos you'll see the full review on the on the dsc controller really good bit of kit really happy with it as well while we've got the bonnet up you'll also notice that i've got this sound deadening still on now some people take this off Mountune recommend you take it off when you have the 375 kit. I did take it off and you do get more intake noise, but you do get a bit of annoy an annoying sort of howling noise a little bit, sort of on low acceleration. Um, a little bit like when I was saying you, fit, you have the sound suppression chamber fitted to cure the noise. You still have a little bit of howling on light acceleration. So I put this back on and it, it cured it. You can't hear it. So yeah, that is my Focus RS. Now, any future modifications that I'd want to get. Now, on my last video, I did mention that I wouldn't mind getting the Mountune spoiler lip, which just goes on the end of the spoiler and gives it you know, a bit of a beefier look. It's a carbon lip. Um, it's a few hundred pounds, I believe, so I might get that. Um, look at the spoiler here. So basically, it just goes on the end. You can already see it's got a bit of a lip. It just kind of extends that lip slightly with a nice carbon finish. Sorry if I'm heavy breathing, by the way. I'm a bit wheezy today. I think it's a bit of asthma or hay fever or something. But yeah. And also, the exhaust. Now, I've always said I like the sound of the stock exhaust, and I do, but I am kind of craving a bit of an upgrade. Now, I've been looking at the Scorpion um, catback exhaust I've always had scorpion exhausts <coughs> and it's something that is kind of really taking my fancy um, so who knows it could be something that is added to this car in the future what do you think should I upgrade the exhaust now other upgrades I've done I say upgrades but I've changed the brakes I've just changed them for stock items uh, you can see them there I changed them recently I don't feel the need to upgrade the brakes I think the brakes are pretty damn good as they are 
So I've got discs and pads at the front and new pads at the rear. I have changed the tyres already, but uh, they're starting to get a bit low again, as you can see. I've done a couple of track days. These are the Pilot Super Sports. I probably will just change them again to Pilot Super Sports. I'm really happy with these tyres, no problems whatsoever. So let's have a quick look inside the car. I've done nothing inside the car. It's all as it left the factory, um, completely stock. I've got the sander seats, as you've already seen. But the only one thing I probably would look at changing in here is the steering wheel. Now there's a company called Royal Steering Wheels that do some really nice um, rear poster into these steering wheels. You can get Alcantara finish, you can get a chunkier leather, um, and it's not that expensive. It's about £160 to have your wheel rear postered. So that is something I'm considering. Maybe another thing um, is these edge trims here. You can get the genuine Ford Performance carbon trims to replace these, like they have on the Edition. And you, you can replace the trim around the boost pod and also the handbrake. Uh, you can have carbon on here. But it is quite expensive, so mm, who knows? I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but that's something I might consider in the future with the inside of the car. So that's it, guys. Quick update on the oil leak and a quick run through of the modifications. Hopefully the car won't need to go back to Ford anytime soon, um, but we shall see, fingers crossed. Yeah, any more updates with the car, obviously I'll let you guys know, but um, I think I'm just going to enjoy the car over the winter now, just have it in the garage and take it out as and when I feel like it. But I've also, I've got a new daily. Do you remember Clive, the Ford Fusion? I've replaced him. Clive um, had a few issues and he's now gone to the scrapyard and I've replaced it with something better. So I'll probably do a video on my new daily um, as the next video just to show you what I'm running around in, but it's not a bad motor. And I will tell you that it is a Ford. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what it is, but if you don't, stay tuned and I'll put another video out. But um, yeah, any questions guys, as always, please post them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And until the next one, hope you all have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you soon.